In this video, we're going to take more tables that are representing linear functions and write them as a function uh, using the equation y equals mx plus b. Now, uh, earlier this week, we were doing the simpler version of these problems. Now we're going to start to introduce some more, uh, some more difficult things that might come up when you do these problems. So this first example is what we were doing Monday and Tuesday. Uh, what I mean by that is there's a zero here, so that'll make things easy. We know b is six, right? The, the b for the equation of a line, y equals mx plus b is the y-intercept. That's when x is zero. So we just put six there. And then to find the slope of this line, you just find how much the y is increasing and divide it by how much the x is increasing. So these keep going up by two and these keep going up by one. So the slope is two over one, which would just simplify to be two x. So the equation of this is y equals two x plus six. Now let's take this one step further in this problem, they don't give you an x of zero, right? They give you one, two, three, and four. So that's gonna make things a little more difficult. So how can you figure out the y-intercept of a table when they don't give you x is zero? Well, we just look for patterns. Um, look at the x's, they're going up by one, right? Plus one, plus one, plus one. So if I want zero, I just need to go backwards one, right? And get zero. So whatever the pattern is up here, we also need to find the pattern here. And as long as we keep following the same pattern in both the X and the Y, we'll have the right answer. So what's happening in the Y's here, looks like they're going up by negative six plus five is negative one, negative one plus five is four, four plus five is nine. They keep going up by five. So if I want the zero, I'm gonna go backwards five and get negative 11. That means the y-intercept is negative 11 here. And then the slope, we just do what we've been doing before. It's how much the y's are increasing divided by how much the x's are increasing. So the slope is going to be 5 over 1, which would just simplify to 5x. The equation of this table is y equals 5x minus 11. So, the new part here is they might not give you x is zero. You might have to use the patterns in the table and work backwards to get to the x is zero. Something else they might do is they might not, uh, so far every problem we've done, the x's have just been counting up by one, right? And that might not always be the case. Look at this one. The x's are counting up by four. and the y's are counting up by one, but they did give us the zero, right? So y equals mx plus b. We know b is six. The slope m is how much are the y's changing divided by how much are the x's changing. So that's gonna be one over four x plus six. One over four can't be simplified, and we prefer to write slope as a fraction, not a decimal. So we're gonna leave it as one fourth. All right, so they might, um, they might give you tables where the x's aren't going up by one every time. Uh, we've always been doing that so far, so just be careful. Uh, look to make sure that the x's are going up um, by a number other than one, and then deal with it And when you do the slope. All right, and then this one kind of combines everything we just talked about. Remember, the equation of a line is always y equals mx plus b. I always write that first. So let's find some patterns here. Um, this is going down by two every column, right? And this is going down by three every column. So we know that means the slope is gonna be negative three divided by negative two, right? Because it's how much the y's change divided by how much the x's change. But we don't know b we need to add some rows to this column here. If we go backwards two, like the rest of the table's going, we'll get to negative two. We need to go backwards two more to get to zero. All right, so um, that would be 
Yeah, zero minus two is negative two, negative two minus two is negative four. Yeah, we just kept the pattern going. And then down here, the pattern is uh, going to the right. We kept taking away three. So if I wanna go the other way, I need to add three. So that would be seven plus three is 10 and 10 plus three is 13. Did we keep the pattern going here by just subtracting three over and over again? We did. So the y-intercept is 13. Um, so our answer is going to be y equals negative three divided by negative two. That's just two negatives. So we're just going to make it three halves. Remember, slope should be a fraction, like I said earlier, but it should always be written as an improper fraction, not a mixed number. So the equation of this line is y equals three halves x plus 13. So one more time, just to recap, the two new things here is if they don't give you an x of zero, just look on the table for some patterns and work your way backwards or forwards to get your x of zero. And the other new thing that might happen is they might not always count by, the the x might not always count by one, like it's been doing all week, right? So make sure when you're finding the slope, it's the change, each column is changing in the y's, divided by how much each column is changing in the x's. And then don't forget to simplify that fraction if possible. That's all. Thanks for watching.